Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're gonna talk about perimeter still. You guys have been doing so great with that, so let's keep going. So our learning goal for today says, I can use string to measure the perimeter of circles to the nearest quarter inch. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board, a ruler, markers, string, and your lesson template. Now, if you don't have string, there's so many different things you can use. You can use ribbon, maybe if you have ribbon. You can use um, like a shoelace. If you have a shoelace in your shoes, you just pop that shoelace out for this part of the lesson. Now, that might be a little tricky. So if you have other options, use those first. Uh, maybe if you, even if you have a necklace that you use, that you wear, you can use any of those things to be able to measure. You just need something that can be bendable and kind of move around. All right, so here we have a circle. Does this circle have a perimeter? What do you think, yes or no? Well, you might think to yourself like, it doesn't have straight lines, but the black line is the boundary of the circle. So maybe that's the circle's perimeter. Yes, that is, you're right. All right, can you find the perimeter of the circle in inches using just your ruler? No way, right? The ruler doesn't bend, so we couldn't wrap it around the circle. We can use string to measure, okay? So we can use a piece of string like that. Even if you have a piece of little rope or a piece of twine, you can use that to measure. Why is string a good tool to use to measure the perimeter of a circle? Yeah, it's flexible, right? A ruler is straight and it's not gonna have a curve to it. But if we use a piece of string or like a rope or something that is flexible like that, we can have the ability to move it around the boundary of our circle. All right, friends, so let's take your string and wrap it around the perimeter of the circle. Then you're gonna cut your string so it's the length of the perimeter. Not sure how to do that? Well, you know what, friends? I'll show you how, check this out. All right, friends, so let's talk about how we can use our string to measure around the circle. So for this on your lesson template, you guys actually have four circles. On mine, I'm showing you two right now, but we're only gonna focus on one of them. So you're, because they're all four the same, so you're really only measuring one of them. So the way that you wanna start is take your string, line it up. I'm just gonna draw like a little line right here so I know where I'm starting with my string. You don't have to, but I just find that helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna do the best I can to go around the outside of the circle. Now, just follow along the line. As you're going through, you might like kind of do part of it and then push it down. And then come and do another part, line it up around, stop again, and kind of just keep going around your circle. Okay, and I'm gonna go all the way until I get to where that red dot is again that red line now if I had another color piece of string I could actually mark on this like with a different color but because I have black I won't really be able to see that but if you have another color string definitely use another color because it will be easier for other parts of the lesson otherwise I'm just gonna find where that red line is and I'm going to snip for my shorter piece of string. Now, if you do have another color string that's a lighter color that you'd be able to see different marks on, you can absolutely use that for like the later parts in the lesson and you won't have to cut the string. You would just say, okay, I'm gonna measure this circle and I'm gonna use red for this circle. So then where I would draw the red line on my string would be where um, I would measure for that later. Okay, that'll make more sense as we keep going through the lesson. But if I look around, I did a pretty good job of measuring around my circle. Okay, so that's how you would do it. So you're gonna pause the video and then you are going to measure your circle. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so what does the string around the circle represent? Yeah, it's the perimeter of the circle. You guys got it, you're so smart. All right, how can we use the string and your ruler to find the perimeter of the circle? 
Hey, yo, I have a great idea. Do you want to hear what my idea is on how to do it? Okay, so since the string has the same length as the perimeter, we can straighten out the string and measure it. Oh, we can use our ruler to help us with that. But once we straighten the string out, oh, don't you think that's a good idea? Yeah, that's such a way easier way to try and measure the perimeter of a circle instead of just using that ruler. So grab your string. You're going to measure your string to the nearest quarter inch and record your measurement on your whiteboard. Okay, so stretch that string. Okay, and line it up along your ruler, right? It can't be like wavy, like a wavy snake on there. It needs to be like a straight line. So go ahead and pause the video, measure your string, record the measurement, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, what's the length of the string to the nearest quarter inch? All right, so when I measured, I got 10 and one quarter inches. Okay, did you guys get that too? Okay, awesome. If not, go ahead and pause the video and re-measure your string because you should get about 10 and one quarter inches. All right, so the perimeter of the circle is, what was our measurement? Yeah, 10 and one quarter inches. Awesome. All right, friends, so today for your problem set, number one is gonna ask you to find 10 circular objects and you have to measure those. You have to find the perimeter of those. So again, that's doing the same thing that we did with our string today. So maybe some of the ideas could be like a top of a cup, like a roll of tape, a plastic lid, a water bottle, maybe a can of soup, okay? You could do like a glue stick, a plate, a pot or a pan. And then remember, uh, well, you can even use the same string to measure all of the objects. You just have to mark each object with a different color. That's why we have the markers. So if you're gonna measure the top of the cup first, you're gonna say, maybe I need a blue marker for that one. So measure around, draw a little line on it to know that the blue part is the top of the cup. And then measure that, and then record it on your chart. Then when you're gonna go to maybe do a roll of tape, then you're gonna say, I'm gonna use a red marker for the roll of tape. So I'm gonna measure around, mark the end with a red line, then I would measure to the red line, and then so on a different color for each object. Now, if you have lots of string, then you can cut a new piece each time. That's totally fine. So that's just one strategy or two strategies to be able to use as you're measuring today. Okay, so awesome job with that one. Um, also, one thing to think about is if you're measuring something and it's longer than 12 inches, so it's longer than your ruler, then what you're gonna do is measure your string and once you put a put your mark down on like that, like put your maybe your finger at where 12 inches is on your string. Then you're gonna move your finger back over to the zero on your ruler and keep measuring. So maybe let's say I measured 12 inches the first time and then the rest of my string is another four inches. So I would have to add 12 plus four to find out that it's a total of 16 inches. Okay, so that's how you would measure something that's longer than 12 inches. But again, you don't have to measure something that's longer than that. We don't have to find things that are that big, okay? All right, friends, so have fun measuring things today in your problem set. All right, so good stuff today. Two thumbs up to you guys for using string to measure the perimeter of circles. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends!